when following a nutrition plan or when you're on a nutrition challenge, we often get to uh, maybe kind of two to three weeks in and we start to uh, think about either a treat meal, a treat meal, or we actually have an event, like a social event or a night out or, or holiday. And this can often affect people's kind of mentality in terms of I'm not going to make progress or it's going to undo the progress that I've already made. So what we want you to focus on is, is what you do on average that counts. So I've just got a, a three month overview here to show you. So it's broken down into obviously months, weeks, uh, days, and then meal times at the bottom, um, individual meals at the bottom. So if we have one meal of plan, like if you look at the whole three month or even the month period, like how insignificant one meal actually is in in such as, you know, in the, in the grand scheme of things in terms of three months. So that one meal won't make a difference to your progress. However, if that meal turns into maybe kind of a couple of meals in a row or maybe even a couple of days off plan, you know, that's again, that's absolutely fine. If it then turns into maybe a week off plan, uh, multiple days in a row, that's when we can start to kind of see it halt our progress. That's the time that we need to kind of identify strategies to put in place so it doesn't turn into then one month or multiple weeks in a row. If this is the case, this is when we see that people kind of make progress in the initial kind of uh, month or three weeks and then either re, you know put, put uh, all of the weight back on or kind of regress back to, to, to kind of their starting point. So what we want to achieve is that is this kind of sustainability. So we want to identify strategies that allows us to kind of eat off plan or treat meal or factor in holidays and times you know where we kind of socialize with our friends and, and everything and be able to still make progress. And I think this is the key thing that we want people to identify is that you can still do this. We are, you know, even our elite athletes and, and people like this, they're not on plan 100% of the time. You have to factor this in. If a diet is too restrictive, you're never going to follow it for kind of the, you know, the long term. So what we need to do is identify some strategies to, uh, to identify how to make it sustainable. So one meal isn't going to make a difference. However, it needs to be this one or two meals, like, and it needs to be planned in. So if you're going to be, uh, you know that you're going out on a Saturday night, you know, plan that meal in, like, you know, identify the strategies to be able to kind of eat on plan, you know, during the rest of the week, eat on plan during that Saturday, and identify that call, cool, this is the time that I'm going to switch mentally, I'm going to mentally switch off from following the plan, I'm going to enjoy my food, and then I need to get back onto it. So one of the things that we do like to, to, to identify with people is that it's a treat meal, not a cheat day. Like this old school mentality of a cheat day where you eat completely off plan the whole day. It's just something that we don't advocate at all. Eating off plan for the whole day has not only effects in terms of the increased calories and, and, and poor quality food normally um, on that single day, but the carryover of maybe one or even two days, we just see that people are sluggish, people find it's like they're still bloated, sleep is affected, food choices the next day are affected. So this is what we want to do. We want to identify that actually a, a treat meal is something that we can factor in and a cheat day is not something that we actually need. If you feel that you need a cheat day, your diet is probably a little bit too restrictive. If you need a treat meal, then actually it's something that like it is can be compacted in, it can be sustainable, and that allows us to can meet, may, keep making progress. So we need to have strategies to get back on track after the treat meal or after the holiday or after the social event. Like this is the 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 most you know, um, you know, crucial factor. Like I'll use an example of a night out on a Saturday night, or maybe you've been really good in the week and you really just get the cravings for, for having pizza or something like this. So you order it. If you don't have strategy to get on plan afterwards, if you go on a night out on a Saturday night, like it's often the case if you haven't prepped for the Sunday or you haven't got stuff in to eat, you know, like good nutrient dense food, then, you know, often we're calling for delivery or we're rummaging around the freezer for some, you know, pizza or something that we've got in there. And then that's that kind of two, three days in a row. And then we haven't prepped for the Monday or the Tuesday and we make poor choices. If we've had, you know, the, the foresight to maybe go shopping on the Saturday and prep a couple of meals for the Sunday, we have good food around us, then it is easy enough to get back on track. So, Having strategies to be able to kind of identify like what you need to do is absolutely crucial. Um, and it also makes you feel less guilty. Um, so please, please, please try to find the ones that work for you.
And the last point is to focus on progression, not perfection. Like, you know, yes, you're on a 30 day challenge or yes, you're following a six week plan or even a, th- you know, a three month plan. Like we don't expect you to be 100 percent on plan. Like even like I said, like elite athletes, professional sportsmen, people that do this like for for a living, they do not uh, follow a plan 100 percent of the time. If you put the pressure on yourself to do that, then again, it's going to be too restrictive. It's not going to allow you to progress. You need to find something that has a bit of a balance. So yes, the 80-20 rule works, but maybe that you will be 100% on plan for four days of the week. What you have to identify as being, you know, maybe kind of 50% on plan on on one of those days. So that treat meal can just get factored in, um, but you're not putting that too much pressure on yourself. Like you aren't too uh, rigid, you're more restrained. So if you can focus on making small progressions and not being perfect, what you're going to do is maybe in over that three month period, you're going to make serious progress, but you're not going to kind of do everything perfect in the first three weeks and then fail. And then the second month is, you know, a complete write off. So I hope that helps. Um, what I want you to do is just, like I say, identify uh, the, the meal or the social event, plan it in, have some strategies to get back on track afterwards and focus on that progression.